Welcome back to my Let's Play for Blood Ties. I suppose it's finally time to enter the Levine Castle. <laughs> Not really looking forward to this. Yeah, we're here, all right. Are you really surprised by that, Ven? I mean, let's face it, we can just walk up to about every party we come across in this game at this point and be like, Firestorm, and then walk away. Our enemies don't stand a chance against us. It's not even a fair fight anymore. <sighs> yeah, well, I don't trust them either. But we kind of have to at this point, don't we? After all, we're dealing with an even bigger threat than they are. Bigger threat than even the Blood Ring itself. <sighs> Which is kind of crazy. Most games usually don't feature, you know, two Super MacGuffins in them, you know? Like, even in Tales of Legendary, you had the same MacGuffin, the powers of the Marinus, in both cases. <sighs> Why does Gendo want to kill us all anyway? Is it just because he can? Is it because he's just pure evil and they had no more and pray thought behind it? I guess this is the treasury room. Huh. Why'd you let me take the, um, item then? If this is where you keep all your secret stuff. All your, um, important stuff, I should say. Yeah, we'll give her the, um, intelligence boost. Let's see. Oh, you got weapons, huh? Well, might as well upgrade our stuff while we're here. But I love how this gives, like, one of the smallest boosts, despite being one of the most expensive ones there. Oh, well. Guess it shows how long I've gone between upgrades on some characters here. Or how few items they were given to really boost their stats. Oh yeah, and I guess while we're here we might as well buy um, potions as well, right? Well, now we're basically broke, I guess it's time to go see the big boss around here. <sighs> Hopefully they don't bore me with this conversation, because I am feeling pretty tired at this point. Yeah, we came, all right. Did you think we wouldn't show up? And your name's Helion? Seriously? You're just trying to tell us you're straight from the depths of hell? Can we kill you now? Of course, there's someone else we should worry with right now. This is going to be one short-lived truce, isn't it? Gendel's back, right? Yes, at full force, no less. You guys didn't seriously watch this guy? I mean, if he's so scary powerful that you guys are willing to form an alliance to take him out, I would assume you'd be constantly on the lookout for the guy, you know, not let him ever get up to full strength so you can pick him off before he can come back. Yeah, yeah, we were. We don't know. I mean, what's really happening? What's he trying to do? Well, it seems Gendel found a very powerful source of energy. It is hidden for centuries, but seems... He discovered and got a hold of it. How was it hidden for centuries? Explain. Seriously. Or did you guys not even know about it until he found it? We're we talking about the clear crystal? Exactly. Gendel has it. Why don't they take all these really powerful artifacts and either A, use them, or B, destroy them? And it's not about keeping him from putting his hands on it, it's about stopping him, now that he has it. His powers could be unlimited, so great, we have to take out a being with infinite power. Therefore, he should be technically unbeatable, because, you know, infinite. Yeah, seriously, what are we supposed to do against the guy that's literally a god now? Unless you have some way to make us gods, it doesn't seem like it's gonna work. Alice, huh? She she was one of Gendel's apprentices. She left him when she found out his true intentions. Well, where can we find her? And why didn't Gendel kill her already? The East, huh? The swamp, eh? You're gonna die, aren't you? 
And why are we the ones being tasked with stopping him while you're just tasked with investigating what he's doing? Shouldn't we form a union, a united front with, um, by teaming up together in a more meaningful sense? Ah, screw it. Trying to make sense of that stuff is just going to give me a headache. Okay. I thought about using a more powerful skill, but screw it. It's They're not even worth it. Like, when low fire damage can wipe them all out, why would I invest, you know, more power into a more expensive spell? Oh. We got fairies, huh? And they're half naked. Figures. I don't know. I can't, you know, admire their bee when they're so small, and let's face it, I just don't care. Ugh. <sighs> Because fairies are tricky, evil devils. Seriously, stay away from fairies. They're like pure evil in most cases. Unless it's Neopets, and even then they ask you to do things for them. All the bloody time. Ugh. And yeah, I still mess around on Neopets every now and again. Not too often though, because it's hard to really get invested in a site that's basically dead. And you can't really do anything on site that's fun or interesting anymore. Because you got some flash games that are getting or starting to suffer problems from not working because they're not compatible with um new browsers as it is, you know, because of security patches and all that stuff. And then you got the fact that they're flash games; they get old after a while. I can only play the same game so many times where I'm like, can we do something else? But you can't do anything on site that talks about other sites or anything. Like I can't go on there and talk about. YouTube or much of anything else for that matter, because they want you to stay um, focused on Neopets, which is sort of a cr crippling flaw somewhat, because you can't really, you know, have more mature conversations, because, you know, there might be kids around. Ugh. And, yeah, it seems like the people that run the site also like to spy on everyone that's on it, so you almost don't want to talk about anything anyway. Or like we screen every message. The staff of Neopets are big brother. Well, at least we're making enough money to fund the purchase of more potions at least. Ooh, a mage bracer. Well, Seems like it's a better fit, considering we keep killing everyone with magic. Okay, a couple spirit bottles, and we're good to go. Do I really have to purge this forest of all life? Not really. But we might as well just kill it all with fire while we're here, you know? Seriously, this character seems to like, be, be built on that meme. Just kill it with fire and move on, you know? Why couldn't I have bought the more powerful spirit files before, you know? It would have been convenient. Especially for climbing that tower for that almost non-fight we got. With the big boss of the first half of the story. Because she did effectively nothing that entire fight because she got paralyzed, which looks like sleeping in this game because, you know, lazy developer, I guess. I know, this is getting pretty monotonous, ain't it? Watching me just kill things like this. It's one of my biggest gripes, I suppose, with the Transformers um, strategy RPG I found. Yeah, I found an RPG, Ma RPG Maker game that was a Transformers strategy RPG in RPG Maker, um, what, 95? No, Sim RPG Maker, yeah. I can't remember if that came out in 95 or 96 right now. I guess it doesn't really matter. But yeah, most of the fights are pretty easy and boring. <sighs> and the only fights that were difficult were basically with the bosses who'd be really, really overpowered. Not helped by the fact that most of your characters were hopelessly weak, and when you beat the game, it just started over. So you got to start out with no um, new boosts or advantages or level ups or anything, so you're like, this just sucks. 
yeah, at this point, I'm just trying to farm some levels, really. Which is probably easier said than done, because, you know... Increasing need for experience. Well, I guess it's time to bust out some more, um, spirit bottles. Let's see... there they are. And I'll go back to having the Honor Emblem on. Doesn't seem to really make any much, much of a difference if we have it or don't have it. Okay. You'd think at some point they'd just start running away, you know? They'd be like, we can't fight this person, they're too strong. Sort of like Goku to Beerus when, after he realizes he's lost and he's completely helpless. Or I guess technically he says that while he's um, trying to stop that giant ball of destruction energy from like blowing up the earth, but whatever. Ah darn, we gotta go back. Darn it. I would ignore it if I could, but there might be some powerful um, accessories over this way, you know? Or at least a powerful accessory, so I might as well grab it. Just in case it proves itself useful later. Unlike these enemies, they only prove themselves to be a mild bore at best. <sighs> Winged boots, eh? Well, I'm guessing that just confers a massive speed boost. I couldn't think of any other reason for winged boots, after all. Ugh. Okay. Back to work. Yep, might as well kill you while we're at it. And death to our enemies. And yeah, it might work on um, blue skies later, I'm not sure. It's gonna depend if I actually get around to um, doing the grinding I want to do to get the cash I need to buy new stuff. Because I've been putting that off. Because I've been dumping a lot of time to master the monster layer, and I'm almost ready to do an episode for that at this point. Though I have to admit, I may end up um, spending a lot of days just stuffing my gold in that game here pretty soon. I got enough food for like almost 100 days, practically. Well, may closer to 60 or something, but yeah, a lot. I'm sitting on a lot of crowbat legs, which I might just eat to um, raise my speed stat and HP. Hmm. I wonder if we're gonna run to the crystal. Not yet, apparently. <sighs> this is like what screen four at this point. Most of these areas usually aren't that huge. I guess we'll... Oh, there wasn't a boss fight? Weird. Okay, anything up here of note? Can I seriously explore areas ahead of time if I want to? Why does this have to feel like a story that's completely on rails? Fine, let's enter the village, I guess. Let's see if there's any new things in the store. Okay, we need four of these, I guess. And some of those. And that. I don't know why they have, um weapons on this stuff, though, if this is technically, you know, a shop full of, um, armor. Yeah, I thought so. Raises agility by eight. <sighs> Oops. You can have that stuff. really need more accessories that specialize in, um, like, status effect immunities or something rather than this stuff. At least that's my opinion. Never 
Earth are you? Just some random villager, eh? You think at some point I'd use the seeds? I just never see the reason to. Well, that wasn't helpful. Thanks. I've lived here my whole life. Wow, that's an amazing discovery right there. Probably another seed, not my luck. No, a super potion. Well, it looks like I just walked into the plot, I guess. Hmm. Phil just said this is the house. She should be here. <sighs> Frustrating, eh? Excuse me? You're looking for Lady Ellis? Yes, we are. Do you know where she is? Kidnapped, eh? I'm surprised you just didn't outright murder her. Or does he need her for some sort of ritual? I don't know. All I do know is that some men came to the village asking for her, and when they found her, they took her. This is strange. We asked for Alice, and all the villagers said this was her house, but they didn't mention anything about that. Well, they're all scared. The Lusa has always been a peaceful village. They don't want to attract attention, you know? <sighs> Makes sense, I guess. Anyway, do you know where they're keeping her? Can't fa say for sure, but I think they're holding her at Kenno Dungeons, northwest from here. Well, let's go. Well, time to invade the upstairs and see if there's stuff up there. Aha! Why does she have five beds? Seriously. Does she constantly have guests over here that spend the night? Are they just conveniently there for us for no apparent reason other than just cuz? Was programming an inn too difficult? <sighs> oh well. I'm still not ready to stop the episode yet because we might want to check out and see if there's any other things lying about town to steal. I have my doubts, but... Oh, there is something. Sweet. It's mine. I wonder if they sell anything useful. Like stat boosters. Nope. Oh, there is um, more powerful restoratives now, huh? Interesting. But the jump from, from 70 to 80 is not very big, is it? Eh, it's not enough to be meaningful, in my opinion. I can still get by with just the regular spirit bottle. And those HP boosters are, I guess wouldn't be too bad. Well, healers, not boosters. But I'm not too worried about just yet. How is it hidden? It's glaringly on the map. It's not like it's hidden in the forest or something. They gotta go looking for it. Well, I guess next time we'll be heading up this way to face off against who knows what to, you know, rescue our, um, mage apprentice who worked for the enemy, but, you know, was apparently on our side. Maybe. Kinda. I don't really care at this point. Until next time, then. See ya.